Hey guys, it's KG48, and welcome to my brand new Let's Play for Medieval Engineers. Okay, I just want to get this off the bat right now. This game was on sale yesterday for a 24-hour period. Um, I did stream it yesterday to try and get a handle on the game. We'll talk about how much of a handle I got on the game as we play. Uh, but the game is not on sale anymore. It was on sale for 24 hours yesterday. Um, so if you guys didn't buy it, and I told everyone on my stream, and I told a lot of people I knew about it, but if you didn't get a chance to buy it, you're going to have to wait till next week. Um, they're constantly patching this game. It's in pre-early alpha. This is super duper early alpha. The game is right now in creative mode and is stuck in creative mode. That's just the way it's got to be in the beginning. But I did want to start a Let's Play to show you guys what's going on. Uh, for those of you who don't know, uh, Medieval Engineers is made by the same people who made Space Engineers. So uh, it's a pretty cool game and let's get started. I just started a game. You could start on a bunch of different uh, cycles of games. Uh, one of them is Quick Start, and that's what I started now. And you start off with this in this landmass with this little home. So let's go. Uh, let's go up here and take a look at our little home. There's a lot of things you can do in the game. Um, one thing I know is you press X, it puts you in the fly mode, and if you press V, it puts you in the third person mode. There's some other. Uh, there's some other things you can do. If you press F1, it'll bring up your basic controls. You know, for pretty much everything. Alright, so let's check out our house right here. Go back into first person. So this is a little home. Uh, this is something anyone could make pretty easily. And, uh, yeah. So you don't have to mine anything in the game right now. Creative mode, you don't have to cut down wood. But I'm assuming in the future, you're going to have to mine stone out of the uh, mountains. Probably iron as well. And maybe some other resources. You're going to have to cut down trees. Uh, you can terraform the land. You're going to be able to do all kinds of stuff. Um... It does have uh, structural integrity and some some relatively real life physics in the game, and uh, it looks pretty cool. So I'm thinking we might uh, maybe try and build. Um, I'm trying to think. Yeah, let's try and expand onto this house. Let's just do a little bit of quick building. It's just like space engineers. You press G, and you've got all the things you can build. You've got your little things down here. I'm just gonna clear off my inventory for now. All right. One thing I did want to show you is it does have voxel hands, and the one I was messing with is the box. You can make the box as big or as small as you want it. I'm going to make it five across the board, and I'm going to show you what this does. Okay, so there we go. It's in our number one spot, and it lets you build and take down terrain. So you can see right here. See? It lets you make the grass. And it also lets you take it down. If you left click, it makes, it puts it down. If you right click, it takes it away. And you can actually go as deep as you want. Now, in when the game's not, not uh, in creative mode, when it's like, you know, built properly, and we have survival mode, you know, you'll have to mine all this out. But this is just an easy way for you to kind of do things. It's pretty cool. It's pretty cool. All right. So now with that out of the way, let's come on over here. Let's get rid of that. We'll go back up to all blocks. And we are going to go to wooden floor, and we'll drag some of that out, and let's uh, let's see what we can do with the wooden floor here. I'm thinking to just expand this out a little bit, just this way. All right, so I think we got to come down here, and here you go. You left click to place the blocks, and you right click to take them away. Um, on some blocks, if you use the mouse wheel, you can make them bigger or smaller, and you rotate. The same way it's Space Engineers, use page up, page down, home, end, and all that kinds of, you know, weird stuff. So, let's just uh, make a little bit. Now, this does have proper structural integrity. Um, but that shouldn't be a problem right there. But we do want to have something to hold that up. So, what would we have to hold that up? Well, it doesn't look like there's any small put. Yeah, let's take some timber. This is probably the best way to hold it up. All right, so again, like I said, with the mouse wheel, you see how that's like one piece of wood? With the mouse wheel, you can make that bigger and smaller. And we're gonna make it as big as we can, and we're gonna keep turning it till it's like that. And I'm thinking, put it right there. See, that doesn't look like it's connected. I'm not sure if this is how you're supposed to hold stuff up or not, but you know, that's the idea, um, how you would hold up items. There you go. Yeah, yeah. I'm not sure if there's anything that would actually hold those up. I don't see any kind of like posts there. You do have a stone round block here, and that looks like the kind of thing you could do, but that's a really big block. So, yeah, let's use it. I'll show you. It's pretty cool. See, look at how big this is. And then you got to kind of, it's like, it comes in four pieces, so, <laughs> yeah. That one doesn't matter, to be honest. Let's um put this one right here. It's not going there because of the floors in the way. 
yeah. Anyway, you get the idea. Let's uh, let's show you some of the structural in. Eh, we'll do the structural integrity at the end. Let's just come up here and let's come right here and let's get some wooden walls. And here you go. We're gonna be building our base here. This is okay. So this wooden wall is is in the corner, but it's on the wrong side. I wonder if you build these from the outside. That one's right there. Yeah, you gotta build these from the one from the outside. Okay, so we will put this one right there. Now with that one right there, we can't put another one here because this block right here is on this square. So you can't put another wall here. So what you gotta do is you gotta do it from the outside. I'm not sure how you would do that. Yeah, like that. There you go. And there's the other wall. And that's how you make the walls. So let's uh, let's see what other things we can do. We got, uh, okay, we got a doorway here. So let's go ahead and make a doorway. We'll put it right, uh, yeah, right there. And we'll get some more walls. And we want them to line up. So there. And there. And we'll put one right here. Can we do it from over here? No, you got to come down here. It's a little tricky. A little tricky. If you've ever played a voxel-based game like this, like especially Space Engineers, you'll know how these things work. When something's on one block, you can't put something else on the same block. It's a little... It's a little a little much to get your head around, but once you understand it, you, you understand it. All right, put that right there. That'll be a window. And this will be a wall. Okay, so this will be over here. So we'll come right over here. Put that right there. Oop. See, I just deleted the flooring. There we go. All right, and then we will go ahead and grab some wooden windows here. Number six. There, 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 there we go. I've never built any roof, any roofing stuff yet. Let's look at some roof tiles. This is, this is new to me, so. Oh, this looks pretty simple. Well, not really. I can't. How did they put those up there? Oh, it looks like they put some of these timber diagonals on. Yeah, so that would go... Can I put it right on the corner? No, it's not letting me put it on the corner, so... There we go. I don't know. This is all This is all new to me. I'm still trying to work this out. But you get the idea of how you can build a house. No, 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 no. Like this. There we go. And there we go. And then we got a couple there. Let's take one of these and put them across. Oh, there we go. Oh, it's not let me place it. Why doesn't let me place it? Because it's putting it in the wrong spot. Okay, that's really weird. Um, I spent like 20 minutes trying to figure out how to get these roofs on. I actually deleted this roof trying to figure out how they built it. And I put a couple like pieces of wood in here. The whole thing collapsed. So what I did was I reloaded the game so I didn't lose the building. And now the, the roofing seems to work. So... If you're having problems with stuff like the roofing and everything, just uh, just reload the game. Now, because it collapsed, I'm actually going to start building the roof here. It might collapse again. There you go. And that's structural integrity. All right. Um, now, with that being said, we'll just rebuild the roof over here just to show you how to build the roof. Yeah, so you put one right there. You put this one over here. All right, there you go. So, and there's all different kinds of pieces of the roof. And what you need to do is you need to use the mouse wheel to get different pieces. So right now, this is just the regular part of the roof. You mouse wheel, it goes into like a corner piece. Um, I don't know why it's not going down there. But, uh, oh yeah, I could probably rotate it. There we go, you rotate it, do it again. It's going right there. It's not letting me put it where I want it to, but you get the idea. I'm not. Sh I'm not quite sure why it's not working. Let's uh, move this. And there you go. There's the corner piece. Okay. Um. These roof pieces seem to be a little bit bigger than the ones that were originally on the building. I'm not quite sure how they made the roof pieces on the building the way they did, but <clears throat> it's not letting me do it. So I'm just gonna, you know, see this. I can't even put one here. It's just, um, it's just too big. Like, the pieces I put on have, like, seem to have taken up a lot of room. And they, and they, uh, they, they take up more room than they, than they look like they're supposed to. 
So to be honest, I'm not sure if roofing is actually working right now. Uh, if anyone has any tips or tricks for me, uh, let me know in the comments because, you know, I I'm brand new to this just like everybody else. So you see right here, see that how that roof, that roof is? It's like exactly half of the building on this corner. If I put it down, it goes over the other half. It looks like it's a little bigger than it should be. And then I can't put anything else in this corner. It looks like it's like taking this corner. Um, but who knows? Maybe if I log out and log back in, it'll fix it. I really don't know. This is just to give you a basic idea of building and how it works. And uh, I'm going to load up a different world now and show you some other neat stuff. Okay, I'm back on this world. I accidentally loaded back into this world, and I tried one more thing with the roof that I think you're going to find interesting. So check this out. If you put the roof on like so, oops, there we, there we go. It goes over too far, but check this out. If you just right-click on this part, it deletes part of the roof. See that? And once you've done that, it will allow you to put the roof on the other spot. And there you go. And uh, let's try it again with this part. Uh, okay, so this part can't go here because this roof has gone over too far. So we're just gonna do that and There we go All right, that's it's Pretty oops. All right, there we go Move that it's pretty weird, but it, it does work. So that's how you build a roof So now we know how to get the roof done. Let me go back and load the proper world and I'll see you on the other world Okay, and here we are in the new world and you might be thinking what's up. What's up with this world? Well, check it out a whole castles built Check out what I did. I'm like the best builder ever, right? No, guys. I didn't build this. Um, this is one of the um, pre-made things you can start off in. You know, it's just like Space Engineers. The way you can start off with a, a crashed red ship or a base already built. Uh, this game offers um, lots of new starting areas that you can use. So, we're just going to run through here. This looks... Pr I really like this building. Uh... This whole castle is just really well done. Uh, there's only some other parts that are kind of annoying. Like you can't walk through some of this area. Um, sometimes you get stuck on places like right here. You can't get up there. The, uh, the piece of wood right there blocks you from getting up. So yeah, so that's kind of annoying. But other than those little, those little things. Actually, we could just delete that out, can't we? Let's just delete that. Nope. What did that do? Oops, I deleted part of the castle. Okay, let's get rid of that. There we go. Now you can come up here and uh, look around. I guess there was a way to get out over there. Get outside, maybe. Yeah, yeah, pretty cool. Pretty cool. I want to show you one really cool thing about this uh, place is the drawbridge. Yeah, I love it. Uh, let's see where we can find it. Here we go. So check this out. So right here we have a couple pieces of machinery. We have what's called a catch block. We have a lock catch block. We have a rope drum. Okay. Okay, so sorry about that phone call. Anyway, so yeah, we got th those three items. The uh, the catch block, the lock, the lock catch block, and the rope drum. We also have pieces of wood and turn wheels. And those are all put together to make a drawbridge. Check this out. No, I don't want fly mode. I want that mode. Check this out. You, if you... Uh, Mouse over something and they have the little white arrows pointing at them. That means if you hold down T, that will do what you need to do. So you can see right here, the, the drawbridge doesn't seem to be doing anything. And that's because this thing, I think, is turning the wrong way. So if you have one of these uh, little spool things turning the wrong way, if you hold down Shift and press T, that should bring it up. There we go. And if you want it to go back down, you just press T without holding Shift. And that puts your drawbridge down, and it just broke everything. Here, let's break this. This will be fun. All right, here we go. Go down, break, break, break. Oh, actually, that didn't look like it broke anything that time. All right, so there you go. You got the uh, the little drawbridge thing they got going on there, and we got the castle looking pretty good. Now, there are uh, destructive things you can do in this game. Like I said, this game has real physics, and you can basically launch big balls at the castle and break things now there's a couple ways to do that uh the main way you're going to do it is to make stuff like trebuchets and catapults i tried all day yesterday for three hours to make catapults and i couldn't get them right uh they have 
tensions and and stuff like that and stuff pulling one way and they kept falling apart on me i'm going to work on the catapults and possibly do those in an upcoming video once i learn how to do them but for now i'm just going to spawn some catapults so if you press f10 uh you have a bunch of well you should have a bunch of stuff here i don't know where everything went but I should have a bunch of stuff here. But we right now we only oh there we go. We got a few things here. We have the adjust adjustable height catapult. We have the uh sorry the adjustable height catapult. We have the advanced catapult, fancy catapult, and there's a hill castle you can make. I'm just gonna do the adjustable height catapult, and you once you've selected it, you do Control V, and that should spawn it. And we're gonna put it right. Um, can I rotate it? No, it's not letting me rotate it at all. All right, so we got to put it up here. This thing's gonna, we're gonna try to use this to break up the castle. And I guess we could put it right here. Yeah, just put it right there. All right, there we go. So this is a pretty crazy contraption. Right now, the physics in the game are kind of weird, and I and a lot of other people think that a lot of the physics are bugged. Don't forget, this is super early alpha. This is pre-alpha, so a lot of the stuff's bugged. And what, what happens is this catapult, like, uh, if you don't build it right, will, like, fall apart on you. Uh, this catapult, though, is supposed to work, so let's uh, mess around with it. Right, right here we have some spool thingies, and we have little hooks right here on the catapult. These little hooks are called rope endings. So you got to put a rope ending on there, and you press T. And then you come down here, and you press T again. And uh, we got to put this on the right spool. I think it goes on the one in the front. So you press T again, and that connects the rope. Now we're gonna do this one too. I don't. I've never gotten this into work properly. So um, got, we press T up there. We come back here and press T again. And there we go. So now we got a couple ropes there. Now what we're gonna do is we are going to bring these things back. So press T. That's not working. Why isn't that working? It might, might, might even go in the wrong way. Let's try this one. There we go. All right, so that's pulling it back. I don't want to pull it back too much. All right, it looks like it only pulled it back a certain amount. Let's take a look. Yeah, that's only pulling it back so much. So let's try and do this one to pull it back even more. Nope, okay, maybe shift T. Okay, it doesn't look like it's... It looked like it broke. I think it broke. Yeah, it looks like it came apart. <laughs> Oh boy. All right, whatever. Let's see if we can get a ball in here. So there's different kinds of balls you can use. Uh, where are they? Here you go. You got a couple balls here. These are not the ones you want. Um, what you want is this one right here with the little plus. Okay. So we're going to bring that down there. Press number eight. And now we have a ball. All right. So basically this ball is really big though. I think we're going to shrink it down. So if you mouse wheel, it'll shrink it down to a smaller ball. Now you can't just put the ball on here. You have to press J. And that gives you into like a little bit of a free mode thing. And then if you put it right there, is it going to stay there? Nope, it's not going to stay there. Yeah, um, this catapult isn't really working. Let's um, let's try and grab another catapult really quickly. Um, let's go with the advanced catapult. And we'll do this. And why is it like on that angle? It's kind of a weird angle. Oh, oh wow, this one we can move around. All right, good. Let's not screw it up anymore. There we go. There we go. Let's put. Let's bring this one over here. Okay, so let's try and get this properly set up. Let's go like that. Okay, I eventually got the darn thing down. Let's uh, let's see what we can do here. So the same thing. You you look at the little hook thing. You press T. Then you come back here, you press T again. I don't think that's gonna work. I think there's another part that broke off. I don't even know what this one's for. Yeah, I don't think this is gonna work, but let's try it. Let's just mess around with it. Trial and error, right? All right, let's go like this. And the whole thing, is, see, it's it's kind of bugged. Um, unless I, it's just because I brought it down too much, which is eh, possibly. If you press T, it'll let it go. Yeah, the whole thing's broken. Let's try one more time with that. Get this freaking thing down. Okay, let's try one more time and then we're done. These things are pretty weird. I mean, uh, I'm not sure. I, I keep thinking I'm I might be doing something wrong, but now I'm not so sure. I think they're just kind of bugged. Which, you know, super early access. What are you going to do? Alright, so yeah, that's that doesn't... 
I might be using it wrong, but man, that is pretty messed up. <laughs> All right, so yeah, we'll get back to that. I will work on this stuff more and try and figure out um, a catapult system that works. But in the meantime, let's uh, let's destroy some stuff. So check this out. I got a little ball in my hand. This is what it would look like if the if these little balls are shooting out. Check it out. Break these stupid things up. There we go. Break you up. You suck. You suck. Oh my god. So anyway, if the catapult was working properly, this is what it would do. There you go. Check it out. Oh my god. Oh, the humanity. Oh, look at that. Alright, let's hit this tower. If any of you guys have any videos or tutorials on how to make properly... Uh, working catapults let me know if, if I'm using the ones I spawned in wrong let me know that too uh, because I'm you know I'm not sure how the catapults work oh look at there goes the tower oh oh my lord oh my oh look at that look at that windmill let's get that windmill stupid windmill taste my justice windmill now the windmill if you break it up floats for some reason unless you break it there and then we just uh, you know Freaking make a machine gun of these things. That'd be cool. So yeah, so that's space. That's uh, space. I almost said space engineers. That's medieval engineers at the moment. Um, the real life physics stuff is really cool. Uh, like I said, I really want to. I really want to make a catapult that works. If any of you guys have any catapults that work, any kind of videos where I can make one, let me know. Uh, and if I'm using the ones that I spawned in wrong, let me know that too. I'm, I'm up for any kind of suggestions you guys have. I think this game's going to be really cool. Um, right now, it is, like I said before, it is only in uh, creative, which, you know, it, it is what it is. We'll, we'll just keep playing it. It's, oh my goodness, I think. Oh. Now, when stuff starts falling, the, the, the game slows down a little bit. And it's not my frames either. Like, the, it's the game slowing down. So yeah, I mean, uh, this game has huge potential. I'm going to be doing a Let's Play of it. I don't know how many videos I'm going to be doing right now, but I'm assuming this thing's going to be updated constantly, and this Let's Play will keep going. My next one will probably be fiddling around with... Uh, my next video of this will probably be fiddling around with catapults. And um, yeah. And uh, if you guys want to see more of this, let me know. Thumbs up the video. Let me know in the comments. If, are you excited about it? Is it a little too early to be doing this? You know, let me know either way. And uh, that's going to be it for part one. Or, sorry, I'm going to call these episodes. That's going to be it for episode one. We'll see you next time for episode two. Till then, take it easy.